Premature babies have undeveloped lungs and immature immune systems. Some of them will get sick and some of those will die, even in the best run hospital. We're interested in this particular baby. How did she get sick? It's not always possible to say, even if there's an outbreak of an infection at the hospital. Nine times out of ten, the labs can't pinpoint the cause. The only thing they will do is they just give us the least of recommendations for good hygiene. That usually solves the problem. But it doesn't tell us exactly what caused it. Could negligence have been the cause of baby Khadi's death? You know, somebody who didn't wash their hands, for example? Yes. But when and if it happened, it's hard to say. Well, we're here to find out whether any person is responsible for baby Khadi's death. And if so, was a crime committed? Yes, I understand that, but... Were there any other deaths from Klebsiella pneumonia reported around the same time? Not to my knowledge. You'd have to speak to the infection control officer for the hospital. And Klebsiella is part of the normal flora of the bowels. Is that right? Yes. So poor hygiene from the nursing staff could have been the cause of baby Khwadi's death? Yes. And not the drip bags themselves? The drip bags are prepared under sterile condition and sealed in an outer bag. We wouldn't use one that wasn't sealed. But if bacteria were to get into a drip bag? They would thrive. The nutrient for the baby would fit the bacteria as well, and they would love it. And baby Khwadi was on an intravenous nutrient, wasn't she? Yes, that's right. She had vomited soon after birth, but it doesn't mean anything. And she was nailed per mouth for 24 hours. And that's when she got sick? Correct. When were you called into the hospital? Only the following morning. Was there no other doctor on duty that night? Private hospitals aren't allowed to employ the doctor on the floor. Well, not allowed? It's against the law. All right. So when you arrived, she was very sick? Yes. The baby can crash overnight. Symptoms are there, but not as noticeable as you might expect. Huh. Describe them. Heavy, fast breathing, snuffling, blood pressure dropping, a bluish tinge on the skin and temperature changes. Oh, I would call that fairly noticeable. Respirator distress were noted at 6 a.m. I was there within an hour. I ordered that the baby be put on a penicillin and blood to be taken. But we didn't get results for 24 hours. We moved the baby to intensive care. She died before the blood test came back. And the test revealed Klebsiella pneumonia? Yes. I was surprised myself that she didn't respond to the antibiotics. But that happens for the reasons I've given. And it doesn't mean any one person can be held responsible for that. Thank you, Doctor. 